Hello guys and welcome to episode 28 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Ark and the Black leading the Tomb Kings to world domination. Previously we took more land from the last defenders and we also chipped away some of the dwarven armies. We took down one entirely but the rest are suffering attrition currently from our incantation of Xar. Uh, we are waiting now for the incantation of Tahoth, so we can grab another cask of souls, but also mainly the extra recruit rank. The Lord recruit rank is also useful there. I probably should have waited uh, to pick up our good friend King Thutep uh, before doing that. But Oh well, he is out and about now, and we've got to take Arkan first of all, and kill off Rockgar. Now, Krokgar, he buffs Sarah's spears quite a lot, so they're going to be rather chunky and difficult to deal with. But should be okay. Let's go ahead and jump on into this fight. It looks like we're going to have to play it out. I was kind of hoping that we could just order resolve this, but nope. We will jump straight in. I think it's mainly because Krokgar's involved. He is pretty beasty. So, I guess we'll just have to have the Bone Giant hit Krokgar, because there's no other real large units other than maybe the Croxagors, actually. I could fire at the Croxagors, we'd probably kill one with each shot. Go for the Gamble, we were only on six, that took us down to five. I'm going to move back over here so we can take advantage of the hill. Alright, start deployment. Put some of the Tomb Guard with Halberds on one side. The rest on the other. Gonna keep these in sort of square formation so they can turn easier. Okay. All good. Let's start the battle. I could also shoot down some of the Pterodon riders. Tell my guy to turn around, maybe he can shoot some of them for us. It looks like my artillery is also going for that. But I want to have the Casket of Souls hit their infantry. It did actually a decent amount of damage there onto the Sarah Spears, so that's nice. I'm not sure if firing the catapult of those is a good idea. Right, there's the Croxagors. Let's hit them with the giant. Hopefully you can just kill these off. It looks like we're just knocking them back. <laughs> we're not even killing them. I'm going to have to make sure that we hit these pterodon riders with my archers. Those fire bombs are not very friendly. I'm gonna have my Sphinx of Usek hit the Blessed Crocs of Gors. I just have Arkan attack Krokgar. I can also get my Tomb Prince and the Necrotech on top of him. Seems like a good plan. Get the Tomb Guard with Halberd to engage the Blessed Crocosagors there. I'm going to put the Stalk on those. I'm not sure if it'll help, but we'll see. Okay. Again in the charge bonus. Oh, that was not a good hit. Ouch. Just after I changed the target as well there. That's annoying. Okay. Let's live a mortis. And we're gonna fate a Buna. Some of these Saras spears. Where's Kropgar? I need to spirit leech him as well. Okay. 
Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, our front line is tanking quite a bit, but it's pretty rough. Oh, that Tomb Scorpion, nice. I'll try and kill off the Chameleon Skinks there with that Nehekara War uh, Horseman unit. Right, these can just be used to fire at the Chameleon Skinks there. I'm not sure about here though. I'm gonna just move back. I'm gonna move these into the center because it looks like these guys might end up going down. My right, crop guard is very low. I could drop a Spirit Leech onto the Skink Chief to get some damage down there. Okay, let's get these in here. We're going to pull back these Tomb Guard. We have our Shabti that can join in. need to keep him alive. Okay, let's pull these Nehekara warriors back because they're not on Nehekara horsemen back. They're not really doing as much as I hope they would against the Chameleon Skinks. I'd probably shoot the Skinks, honestly, with my uh, with my good old Bone Giant here. And I should definitely be dropping the heals into like the Tomb Scorpion and also the Necrosphinx. Sphinx doesn't matter as much. Okay, nice. Managed to get some good hits in there. Can kill off a lot of them on the way out. guys are going to try and get away. Hopefully we can kill a lot of them with the arrows as they run. The front line is hurting. And these tomb guards go very, very low. I'm just going to end the battle there. We'll attack them again. Finish them off. Though we're going to have to find a way to get rid of those Skink Chiefs ASAP. Because those have a reasonable amount of health and I don't really... Well, I can't really hit them very well with the Bone Giant, I don't think. Right, I'll take the money. And then we can run after them. Republic Order and Melee Defense. That's nice. Another 10 Melee Defense for Arkan. Destroy them! An auto resolve would kill some of these tomb guards, so I'm gonna have to play this out. That's annoying. Oh well, won't take long. I just have my tomb guard with halberds in the mid this time, with the uh, standard tomb guard on the flanks. And then we can just shoot them to death, probably mostly before they get to the front line. They stand far enough back, although this map doesn't really help too much. It's a horrible map. Um, we'll gamble again. I'm just going to keep this as a second line, actually. Okay, start. Let's get the Team Scorpion pack. Going to heal the Necrosphinx. Nice. 
They're already doing plenty of damage there. Might be worth trying to snipe the Pterodon Riders. Nice, took out two of them with that one shot. Alright, now I'm going to try and hit the Skink Chief. I could probably move forwards here and just put down the Tomb Blade of Ark and the Skeleton Warriors to engage and we can probably hold a lot of them by doing that. Yeah, they're really just piling in there. Perfect. I'm uh, gonna drop the fate of Bina. All we gotta do is win this ASAP. And at the moment, it's working really well. They all ganged up on these skeleton warriors and got absolutely demolished in the process. Basically destroyed my own unit. Now these Cyrus warriors are trying to push forwards. They're going to be dead very shortly. That's it. That's victory. Nice. I don't think we really lost anything. Zero losses. Yeah, if we'd ought to resolve that, would have definitely killed off those team guard. I can almost guarantee it. But we will take even more money. Thank you very much. Seven hundred and sixty-five. Okay, and uh, we'll zoom down here, a bit closer to the next element. Next check leveled up. Do full plate armor. I doubt his Still got to get these guys out. Okay, over to Rawa. A Rawa. Maybe Rawa could be the one to chase this army from now on. And then we have Rakash head north. We got to somehow take care of these guys. Don't think so. Now I'm thinking. We might be able to ambush them. If I move over here, I can set up ambush stance because this gives us extra ambush success chance. And then, hopefully, if they come towards Bit of Stone Mine, we catch them and they die. The only issue with that actually is that it does leave us in range of Thorgrim to back up another attack. Because this army will get destroyed, Rungni Draxlayer, which is a pretty good army to take out. Um, but then Norgrim will come in with Thorgrim backing him up. Thankfully these two armies are pretty standard. So that's not too bad. But the other thing, it does mean that... A lot of these settlements further north are probably not defended very well. Most of the armies are over here. Tomb King. The worst part about this war is everybody who is friends with the dwarves is going to condemn our actions. 
and that is going to get bad very quickly indeed. Alright, my Necrotech can level up. Probably going to go for Guardian Gargantua again. We got Rakash. Who, yeah, he needs to go over here. ASAP. This Tomb Prince can go training. Oh, that works. A Labazash. I mean, I could take out Harak Granite Hand, but I'd have to find a place where we can go into Ambush Stance. I don't think we can get away with it. Because we can't do it here. I mean, maybe I could do it somewhere here. Oh, there we go. Maybe that works. No, this is going to be a tough old army to take out. Plan. Unless we can get onto those cannons and the archers sooner than later. The oh, ambush would be death. perfect, especially with all the Ashabti. That uh, might work perfectly. Alright. Uh, that should be also 100% success chance, right? Address me as your highness. Yeah. Cool. We'll go for Blade Master. Actually, no. We'll go for Hard to Hit first. And then the Lich Priest. I'm going to give the Lich Priest a Skeletal Steed. Great. Over to Hatmas. Now, Hatmas probably doesn't need to go south. Last Defenders, they are on their last few settlements. And they're not very strong at all. So, Arkan can go and take those two. This army is going to go and take this one. At the Southlands jungle. After that, I'm probably not going to attack these settlements because I don't really want to piss off Snitch uh, sooner than later. And they don't own too much land. Uh, this is basically all they own here: the Plain of Bones, uh, the one settlement here, the Mount Greyhag. Uh, they'll have this province and then also these provinces now because they confederated clan wars. It's not it's not a huge deal, but. Now I actually look at it. <laughs> Maybe we could take them out. I'm just so concerned, obviously, that the dwarves are still a problem. And engaging the... Actually, it might be okay. Eshin's... Oh, Eshin's not even allied with the dwarves anymore. Okay, so we could just, like, attack them separately. That should be fine. Yeah, I mean, if we have three armies available, then why not? I lessen King Hatmas uh, towards Forest or the Fortress of Vorag. Uh, maybe we can uh, take him out. I just need to get away from this plague ASAP. Before my army gets disintegrated by it. Alright, into Dynasties. Uh, we do need, my will be done. I believe, a Necrotect. Oh, we've already got the Necrotect. Yeah, okay, that's why we've done that. Yeah, we picked up the Apprenticeship here. We could do a Proclamation. These Proclamations are pretty good. Proclamation of the 5th Dynasty. Extra recruit rank for all units. Pick that up. Oh, that'd be really good, actually. Yeah, it's going to stack with what we set up here. So we're going to have plus 2 from Berect, plus 1 from Thutep, plus 1 from the uh, Commandment. We're going to have plus 2 from... Tahoth, and then we're going to have plus one here. So that's going to be plus seven in total. So we can recruit the Kenrin War Sphinxes at level seven. Which will be pretty damn crazy. That's going to be awesome. All right. So Th Thutep's almost ready. Yeah, I wish I could just disband him and re-recruit him when we get the incantation of Tahoth. That'd be pretty cool. Is there a unit here or an army that can make use of those regiments of renown? That's what I'm just checking right now. I think Sunnitep Is Tomb Guard are okay? I think, is it Rawas are the best? Now one of these guys has the Herald. The Herald of Marak. 
So these Tomb Guard are better. I don't know if Rawa needs it though. It might be better in Sunnytep's army. Because he's so reliant on the Tomb Guard. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it off Rawa. And we're going to give it the Sunnytep. I could put in a Cholera Chakra here as well. We're not going to have money for a little while on the Knipic Jars, so I think we're just going to spend that to grab a Collar of Chakra. Chakra. Okay. And that's going to give extra 5 melee defense and 10 ward save. Cool. So now he has 15% ward save, right? Or he will do next turn. Plus the extra melee defense. He's going to be a pretty big beast, especially when he jumps on a Cambrian War Sphinx. Uh, that's next level he does that as well. Unless he gets taken out. This one's immortal. I'm just checking in case we get caught out. This guy is not. Uh, but he's only level 4, so I don't really mind losing the Necrotect. This guy, King Sunatep, is a king, so he should be fine. Yeah, he's immortal. Alrighty. Probably want to save cash. We have some buildings to do. We've still got to get the ones into Sudenberg. So, yeah. I'll have to make sure I do that. Oh, is there a way we can get Lucini under control? That's annoying. Um, don't actually, yeah. Don't tomb princes have um, have public order? Let me just check. Prince Karas. Yeah, they do. Okay, so maybe what we could do is recruit one if we have space for it. I don't know if that's going to work in the same turn though. Okay, yeah, we do have space for another one. That gives us your recruit rank for Nehekara Horsemen, the Portal Stalkers, and Necropolis Knights. I think it pretty good if we actually made an army that focused on those. Yeah, let's do that. And for his skills, level 6. We can do Spread Public Order 2. I'll put him on a Skeletal Steed. And I guess we do Training. Or actually, no. Better than that. No big jar hoarding for now. Because training is kind of useless until he gets in an army. But yeah, we could put him in the new army that we're going to build. After we get the 20k. So the one we, we get with the Canopic Jars, we could make into a cavalry army with a Necropolis Knights. But yeah, that saves the public order, which is good. That's going to give us time to maybe build this up. Yeah, we'll do that now. And I'm going to have to really start saving, like seriously start saving. Crooked Fang 4. Very tempted to just throw in an obelisk there for now. Probably going to get attacked at some point though. Quite vulnerable. If they build a small army, they could probably take it. Desolation of the Gash. Hopefully these guys are just taking loads of attrition so it won't matter too much. I think that's everything done. Yeah, let's move on to the next turn. Can't tell if these guys are trying to do anything to us. I don't think so. Alright, here comes Kara Zakarak. The ambush works! Huzzah! Okay, uh, we will auto-resolve this one. Gets rid of a lot of nasty units. I'm going to take the... Replenishment, probably. It's pretty important. And see what they do next. Oh, they're going to, like, triple-team that army, aren't they? Ouch. Hmm. If this was inside the garrison, I'd say have at it. Like, inside the settlement. But we're not. Oh, if only it was like a really good map as well. Oh. We would probably still lose, but it'd be worth taking the fight just to 
absolutely demolish these armies. We will retreat, I think, and see how we get on, because I don't think they can necessarily chase and engage. Okay, they're just going to go for the settlement, but a stone mine. That's okay. Right, we can probably play this out and do a decent chunk of damage. So let's jump on in. My main aim here is probably going to be to take out the catapults because that will remove siege attacker from these armies. So they can't just like take out walled settlements in one turn. And that will delay them a lot, allowing my armies to catch up in order to take them out. One thing we do need to do is sort out how we're going to do this fight. We're going to stack up on the left, I think, with infantry. We'll keep some skeletons on the wall. I'm going to have them spread out enough that they can capture both of these. Okay, good. Uh, this one, we can just put them here. Uh, this one can spread out between those two. And then this one can go on the wall and on the right hand side. Okay. And what we'll do, yeah, as they come up, we'll replace the archers on the walls uh, with infantry. And then I'll just have the archers do as much damage as I can. I'm going to have my Nehekara horseman over here. A Shabti. They should stay together. I don't know where to put them though. Not sure if there's any like super scary units. It's just mostly giant. Oh, there are some giant slayers there. Hmm. Might be best to put these Ashabti on the right hand side or even in the center. I'm going to put them on the right for now. We do have the carrion as well. I'm not sure they're going to be very useful. And our Tomb King. The Tomb King should be pretty good actually. Tomb Prince. All right. Let's start the battle. Get the towers up and running. And we'll just shoot to death these grudge throwers. Uh, let's take out the quarrelers. Again, quarrelers. Actually, let's hit the giant slayers. This one can hit the quarrelers. Uh, this one... Hmm, I guess it's fine just shooting the one in front of it. I want to hit the quarrelers because they don't have shields. Actually, yeah, they do. Well, the Slayers then are probably a better target for any turrets that can hit them. Oh, we're going to get quite a lot of damage in here, actually, I think, with this unit of archers. That's not going to be too bad. We're doing some damage to the miners there. Oh, miners definitely don't have shields, so we can hit those. We do also have this ability. This ability is pretty good. I'm going to put it through some of these long beards. That did a decent chunk of damage. Nice. Alright, let's have these come off. These go up. Uh, these come off. These go up. Alright, so far so good. Alright, and what I'm going to do is just line these up back here and then we can engage the giant slayers with the skeleton spearmen and just shoot these in the side. That is the plan. Uh, this one, actually these can come down as well. Alright, looks like on the right hand side here I might be able to get on top of those artillery pieces. They, what are they doing? They're hitting the gate. Oh, okay. Nice. Get some good damage in there. I also have the carrion. Let's move the carrion to the right hand side. Uh, one thing I could do, we could put the stalk onto these and then have them move around the side. I don't know how close we need to be for them to be revealed. But now they destroyed the gate, we can just go out. This unit's getting demolished. But we've almost killed off the giant slayers. Right, 
Right, I don't need these guys to get caught. That's not good. Alright, let's go kill the grudge thrower. So far, so good. I mean, it's still pretty dire, but is a nice one we can hit. Good. Just got to chip as many of those units as possible because they're not going to be regening or anything. I don't know why that's losing leadership. Oh, because the long beards. Alright, let's kill off that grudge thrower unit, please. We can have the carrion. Go and have a go. Right, I'm going to put these onto the quarrelers. Maybe we can kill those quarrelers. We've actually won against the miners on the left, so we might kill that unit as well. I mean, the more units we can kill, the better. Obviously, we're not going to win this battle. But... I'm really just looking here to see if we can kill these. Right, I'm looking to see if I can get these to shoot down onto the bottom there. It may be worth trying to hit these giant slayers. If I move back... Okay, another unit coming in. Are there any archers? Well, not archers. Artillery. I don't think the other artillery piece has come in yet because we haven't killed enough of them. Can we use some walls? No. Ah, that sucks. I can use it here though. That's going to do a lot of damage. Oh boy. Like it. That was almost perfect. Right, we now can get the Shabti. Get more Shabti on this side. Please come in with your catapult. There's nothing here that's really worth me attacking right now. I guess we just kind of I don't know. I don't want to be standing in front of these towers as well. That's the only other thing. Gonna hide them. See if that works out. Maybe holding those sort of breath attacks until they built up like this would have been better because then I would have got a lot of kills. Like if I choke pointed them into here and then did them at outwards. That might have actually worked a lot better. Oh well. We got a lot of damage done. I killed the artillery which was important. Yeah. I'm happy with this regardless. We've done a lot of damage to these guys. Alright. Let's just speed it up. I'm probably going to end up crumbling soon. I was just hoping that maybe their artillery would come in, but it didn't. Alright. So we killed the giant slayers. We killed the miners. We killed two catapults. That's good. That's already good. And then I'm pretty sure we did a lot of damage to the longbeards of Thorgrim's army. Oh no, it must have been the other guy's army. Cobalt's army. He lost a lot of giant slayers. Yeah. Okay. Most of the chip came onto the uh, the main army. That's okay. Uh, they are going to get a little bit of attrition there. Or not attrition. Um, what do you call it? Um, replenishment. Because they did take the settlement. I thought they would just sack it, but they didn't. So that kind of sucks. Um, right, yeah. Ambush. I guess we just auto resolve it. I'll take that. Thank you very much. That'd be a pretty easy take, like running down on them from either side. I'm going to take the money. 
Because we're going to be in friendly territory anyway, so we'll replenish. And Beard Collector for King Lamazash. Very nice. Uh, Kratoman under attack by Boki. Nehikara will be mine. Yeah, kind of tempting to just auto resolve this. There's not really much point in me trying to wipe out this army. Arise, my legions. Rise. Or do any damage to it. I mean, we're going to attack it afterwards. Maybe. For the creator god. To war. For Nehikara. Mm, we'll auto resolve. Oh, we actually. That actually killed off more than I thought it would. Cool. They sacked it as well, which leaves them in a very awkward position. Right, now, I've just got to figure out where they're going. Because all of their armies are stacked. Uh, which I guess is a good thing because we know where they all are. But at the same time. It's going to be difficult to take them out. So I'm going to have to get more ambushes by kind of predicting where they're going. Alright, splendid structures. Let's do uh, military buildings. Rebuild our armies. That way. I think these are cheaper. Yeah, they are. Nice. Let's build those two. And remove this. Over to Arkan. Alright, Arkan. Probably raid his way through. I guess we'll raid... No, we'll just go as far as we can. Yeah, that's fine. Going as far as we can there because if I stopped and then raided and then attacked, that would take an extra turn. So I may as well just go as far as I can this turn and take the attrition. Time for Rawa to wipe out this guy. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, never mind. That was... they retreated so far. Uh, we'll fix that in that, first of all. That is annoying. Right, make that guy immortal, that's good. And Hakaros should be able to get towards Tiatikwa. The Adikwa does have walls. Hmm. This army is almost perfect for attacking that, so that's fine. Unless he doesn't have Siege Attacker. No, he doesn't. Oh well. Right, we can attack this army. It is on its own in March Dance, so we would kill that army. But we'd have to then do a runner. We'll level him up. He can get on his Camry War Sphinx. I think we do go for that attack. Gives uh, uh, Lich Priest here a, a mount. That's helpful. And we're going to go extra mobility first. Okay, so we'll attack this army. I should be able to jump in and win this convincingly. Okay, it's a battle with a big choke point. Well, tiny choke point. Is that good for us? Mm, maybe. Maybe not. We don't have artillery. Oh, well, I guess we have bone giants, but... Yeah. I'm not sure. Not sure this is a good thing or a bad thing. I think we have more archers than they do. I'm going to make this the front line, second line, be the third line, archers separate. Cool. Alright, start deployment, start the battle. If I can catch them, 
or they don't move or whatever, then that's fine. These guys are gonna have to focus on killing the grudge thrower. I mean, honestly, if they're not gonna come towards me, I might just not go towards them. Hmm. Then again, we're already on our way. Uh, let's get these in the back line. Grab T ready to go as well. Okay, let's we'll start moving up. Okay, let's destroy that grudge thrower. They're pretty good for wiping out artillery pieces. Especially if they direct here a bit more. Take down one of them there. Not sure we did. Oh, this is nice. They're putting all of their units next to them. Still got four grudge throwers. We've hit them a lot as well. And we let them have a good hit there. Okay. Time for a nice skull storm. That unit of Coral is, is going down very fast. That's good. I'm going to drop another. Okay, let's just drop this on here. Okay, let's hit those Coral is. Actually, let's hit the Rangers. I shouldn't really give them targets like that to shoot at. We'll move them forwards. I should definitely heal up the Ashabti. Okay, and a new Vortex, please. Pull back the Ashabti a little bit. That's doing a lot of damage. Okay, that's another unit of archers taken care of. Next unit of quarrelers, please. I think we'll put the next restore onto the one with more peeps left. As for the bone giants, I should be having them target like the long beards and stuff.
a second realm of souls here. We've only, we haven't even hit the third. Yeah. Alright, that unit is dead. Next one. My lord is doing a lot of damage. I'm not convinced that another Gold Storm would be a good move here. It would take a lot of damage. I think instead I'm going to just focus on damaging a high health unit. And we'll drop this spell down. That way our unit starts doing more damage. And theirs do less. Because they lose melee defense and melee attack. Okay, let's heal up these guys. And these bone giants are pretty much out of ammunition. They must break soon. I'm going to have my lord just run through to the quarrelers. You can probably push through pretty well. Also, we could do charge bonus. boys actually they're in march starts aren't they we will just end it there so the yeah the vortex attack seemed to do a decent amount of damage i think maybe my bone giants weren't quite hitting the right targets though after they destroyed the grudge thrower I'm going to take the movement range there, thank you very much. And we're going to march away. Kind of want to be in friendly territory. We can just go up. Yeah, perfect. And they shouldn't be in range to attack us, no. Alright, he's leveled up from that. So we can continue with Soul Reaper. I will get the extra armor and missile resistance that will buff the Ashabti. I need to remember to put them nearby though. I'm actually in range to attack Crookback Mountain, so I'm just going to take that. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So we're going to leave it here. Just pick up Crookback Mountain. That's good stuff. From there, it might actually be worth taking Mount Silver Spear before coming back down to take Black Crack. But yeah, that's it for now. We'll level him out next turn, or next episode, sorry, and then we'll continue to crack down on the Dwarves. It's been going well so far. We've been chipping down their armies, and we haven't lost an army of our own just yet. I thought we might in that last turn, but we didn't, which is good. Uh, we'll see if we can continue our good progress, or if... Other factions want to spoil the fun. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.